Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech, and it's actually been a while since I started a video like this. Um, me driving on the road. So for those of you longtime viewers, probably know. Anyway, I'm actually headed to the post office right now to ship out my Odroid to Amerijoid. They're actually going to take a look at my board to see what's going on and possibly help me do something about it. So that's where it's going right now. It's a continuation off the story of remember when I had my uh, well, I'll leave a video link of that what's going on or what happened to my board. So. If, check that out if you want. Alright, now that I'm done with the post office, I'm actually headed to a shop because I gotta do some maintenance on this car. And then since the shop's so close to my home, I'm actually gonna walk home from there. Uh, so yeah, see you in a second. Alright, so I made it back home. Technically, it's actually been a couple of days since I made it back home, but yeah. Uh, I know you guys have been asking about the Windows 10 on Raspberry Pi and what's been going on with that. Uh, I'm ready to show you what's going on. Uh, now, there have been a lot of improvements and a lot of updates to the UEFI BIOS. Um, I'll leave all the links in the description. They're the ones that did all the work. I'm just following their instructions on how to get it set up. Now, this is not the full Windows 10 installation. This is actually the Windows 10 PE, which is the pre-installed image or pre-installed or pre-installed environment that's what it's called but yeah let me let me show you guys what i got so far okay so here's the uefi menu uh, i'm gonna boot from port one which is the usb i think maybe port two port three there you go which is the usb all right so as that guy's booting um here we have the usb i don't know if you can see it Flashing. Let me settle this down again. So it takes just about a minute to boot. Uh, it's not too bad at all. Uh, the quad core is working on this guy now. Uh, they actually pro got it to work from the UEFI BIOS. And it's very iffy with the drivers right now. So right now the drivers didn't load, which it should have, but sometimes it doesn't. And if it did load, I would have been able to get the mouse and the keyboard working. Um, just to show you what's going on, but that's it. I mean, there's no explore, there's no start menu. This is the PE version, so there's nothing in there. The only thing you could use is actually task manager, but uh, that's even iffy at most. But otherwise, everything is uh, booting, and eventually I will actually throw the entire setup into this guy and try to set it up from scratch, and we'll, we should be able to see the start menu and all that stuff. And this is definitely a great direction. It's working, it's booting, and it does barely work. All right, so a couple of things I do want to talk about uh, before I end this video. I am going to be putting more of my efforts into Patreon as well. And I want to thank everyone who's been a Patreon and who is a Patreon right now. Um, I got a lot of video content. Due to doing this a lot, I ended up having a lot of ideas that are questionable to YouTube. Uh, some of the stuff that, or maybe a lot of the stuff that I come up with on that rate, uh, sh probably would get me in trouble with YouTube, you could say. An example would be, um, I found out how to run your own KMS server. Uh, if you guys don't know what a KMS server is, it's when Windows need to have activation and it reaches out to a Microsoft server to say, hey, yeah, you do have, your key is valid. I learned how to make one of those using a Raspberry Pi. So now your products could just hit the Raspberry Pi instead and the suggestion on the bottom left would go away. Uh, stuff like that, I probably would start putting on Patreon. Uh, I got a lot of that type of content. And I don't know how to market yet, but stuff like that I don't think is really good to be on YouTube. Or YouTube would probably, yeah, yeah, Patreon would probably be the best. And you do have to be a Patreon member, and I do have really, really low subsets. So, uh, yeah, um, uh, check me out over there. I'm going to be posting up some stuff on that side, more towards that related content. This is the end of my update. Um, if you guys want me to do a, uh, answer more questions or previous video ideas or something that's going on and you want to know about, hit up in the comments below. If you guys got some questions about me or Q&A, maybe we could do a Q&A seg segment. Um, yeah, hit in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you guys uh, are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hitting that little bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say, my nerd cave, 
Hacktail at Hearts.